y'all it's Brett over at Hidden Creek and in today's video I want to give you some pros and cons to doing a fake exit so if you are hearing me say that and you're like what is a fake exit let me just explain really fast before we get into those pros and cons so fake exit is gonna be where about an hour and a half before your real exit before the end of your wedding you are gonna do a fake exit so if you are having sparklers bubbles glow sticks Whatever you are doing as your exit item, you're gonna go ahead and have everybody line up outside. You'll have your DJ announce, hey everybody, this is a fake exit just for pictures. Go out, do it, and then come back in and keep dancing. Make sure your DJ announces for everybody to come back in and that just this is just a fake exit. So everybody's gonna line up. Y'all are gonna stay inside. You're gonna hang out for a second, and then you're gonna come out. Everybody's gonna cheer, yay! And then everybody just goes back inside, but the reason why I recommend doing a fake exit about an hour, hour and a half before your real exit is, for one, you do not have to pay your photographer and your videographer to stay so long. Guys, there are only so many pictures, only so much footage of a dance floor that you want. At some point, it becomes a bit repetitive and the photographer's like, okay, I've gotten a picture of these same 20 people dancing 50 million times. And a lot of photographers and videographers only include a certain amount of time in their contract. And you probably don't wanna to have to pay to add on extra hours, but you definitely need that exit captured on photo and video because at the end of the video, if it just cuts and everybody's still dancing, it's very like the book just ended abruptly. Like there was no end to it, especially if you're gonna print your pictures and have like a photo book made. The exit is really gonna be a big staple in that book. So make sure you are having your exit photographed. And then you don't wanna to have to pay them extra, so if you do this early, then they can go ahead and leave and you didn't have to add on extra hours. Also, another pro is that people are sober enough to do the fake exit. I don't know why, but like the last hour of a reception is usually when people start getting a little too drunk, not only the guests, but also the bride and groom as well. Um, and so if you wanna be coherent enough to walk down and actually do the exit, I recommend doing a fake exit. Also, another huge pro is going to be that cleanup can quietly start behind the scenes after your fake exit. So if there was anything outside, they could be out there taking that down. They could go ahead and start taking away table numbers. Things can quietly be getting cleaned up. It's not like they're going to be taking down everything and causing a scene and guests are going to be like, is it over? What's going on? I'm talking about quiet behind the scenes cleanup that can go ahead and start. Also, another huge pro for why you should be doing this is that you're gonna have more people in the photos. It does look a little funny if you do your green exit and the pictures have like 10 people in them because everybody already left. So by doing that fake exit, you are gonna get your full guest count, everybody in those final pictures, which is really gonna make a huge difference, especially if you're doing like sparklers or bubbles. It just kind of looks funny if you only have like 10 people holding up a sparkler. So make sure that you're getting a lot of people in those photos. The next pro I have for you is that you don't have to feel so rushed. You know, a lot of venues, you have like a certain time that you have to be out at. If you waited until that time to do your exit, you have to hurry to get off the property. So if you do it a little bit early, then you don't have to feel so rushed. If you need to go back and take another take of it, if the videographer is like, hey, do it again. Um, photographers like, do it again. Great, we can do it five or six times if you want to. There's no rush. And then also I have noticed, and this is always a huge issue, whenever you're doing the exit at the end of the night, you all of a sudden have all of these people running up to you wanting to say goodbye, wanting to hug you, and we're like, hey guys, sparklers are burning out, like let's go. And everybody's trying to hug you and say goodbye. So then we can't get the exit done. Then you run out of time. It's a huge mess. So by going ahead and doing that exit early, people don't have to feel like they have to rush and say bye to you because you're not actually leaving. You get to come back inside and keep talking. That way everybody is like, oh, okay, that was just a fake exit. We'll come back in and keep talking. It is also my favorite time of the night to go ahead and do a late night snack after that little fake exit, have everybody come back in. And at that time, the caterers would have set up that late night snack station. So everybody comes back in and is like, food! And they get so excited. It is adorable. I absolutely love it. So be sure to look up late night snack ideas as well. And then my only con for you is gonna be that if you do a fake set exit, you might have some people leave. They might be a little bit tired and they were like, 
oh, okay, we actually did the exit part now. We're going to go ahead and go. But the people that really want to stay and party are going to stay and party. So I personally think a fake exit is definitely the way to go. If this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.